Okay, I've hit the record button. Asked uh, a lovely question on uh, on uh, food. You know, going through it for an advanced spiritual seeker, going through who's aware of the type of work we do, um, uh, and is in lockdown and food. You know, food is coming up a little bit. And what what? How do you sort of deal with that? And things like sugar. Uh, you know, comforting on sugar and 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 wheat. And my views on that. So I'm in a, in a food fellowship. It's my primary. It was my primary addiction. So um, and uh, yeah. So the thing to know with food, uh, and I, you know, I think of food. Uh, so if if you're in lockdown and uh, let's say there is a little bit of extra comforting on food, um, what's what's a good way to sort of deal with that? Well, I sort of see, you know, if someone's been, for example, in in a twelve step fellowship, like a drug fellowship or alcohol or whatever it is where it's pretty clear, you know, just don't touch the drugs, just put it down. Well, you sort of, you sort of symbolically see how, which foods and in, or what type of foods or what type of behaviors are the things that are being used. How is food being used as a mind altering drug? Uh, so, and then you sort of see, I would sort of go, well, see what it is that you do is it certain times of the day? Is it certain times of food? Is it certain types of behaviors around food where you get that hit? Now the hit or the comforting, you just want to see. I mean, I would go, if it was me or I was giving advice to someone, I'd say like, well, you know, you, you'll have to like clarify the bottom lines around what you want to put down and be very, very clear what it is you're bottom lining. So is it, for example, Usually, you can intuitively guess um, what would what would cause you the most pain if you stop doing it with food uh, that you feel like you'd, you'd feel deprived, you feel you'd be uh, have a lack of comfort, you'd feel like your ego wants to have a tantrum. Uh, then you kind of know, aha, uh, you know, I just don't want to do that. You know, like if it's like I'm going to give up the donuts, well, I'd you know, I'm happy to give up. I'm having to, happy to give up the cabbage, but I don't want to give up the donuts. Then it's like, well, if the ego's putting up such a fight to put something down, then you know you're onto something. I mean, be, be careful with the ego because it can sometimes rationalize and say, but uh, I'm sure it won't, or it might. Anyway, so it could be uh, the sugar. Um, no, it could be, or it could be, you know, just refined sugar in cakes and biscuits and donuts, or it could, could be that certain things are okay. Uh, if it's not a big problem with food, like, you know, if there's a tiny bit of sugar in a sandwich or whatever, that you're not going to sort of do that. But um, if the food is being used as a comfort, you just get clear on it. The mechanisms of food, I mean, it is belief systems. I mean, there are what's called, I mean, the collective belief systems. There's certain collective belief systems, things like sugar, uh, donuts, chocolates, cakes, biscuits are probably part of the collective belief system. So you can cancel those belief systems uh, you know, can, I cancel my belief, and that's what happened with Hawkins. So Hawkins actually was uh, overweight, and he he did the he did actually the feel the feelings or the letting go process and cancelling of beliefs, and that just you know he became very thin. Um, so you can use those, or you can use a, a fellowship, but you can just intuitively just see what do you need to bottom line, uh, and what are you willing to bottom line, and go through you go through withdrawal. If I stop the the biscuits and uh, and bread, say for example, I know that it probably you know you probably go through withdrawal for a week or two, and you can cancel beliefs around it while you're doing it. Like I cancel my belief in um, I cancel my belief um, uh, in sugar addiction. I'm an infinite being, subject only to what I hold in mind. To just cancel those beliefs around it or canceling belief in any food allergies or whatever it may be, and, and sort of do it. My own thing, you know, my own way of releasing addictive behaviors around food is I wanted 100% neutrality. I didn't want any hit uh, from food uh, uh, at all. So it's absolute 100% freedom. Uh, so it was like food for me, I wanted it. So, uh, you know, so I eat foods so that I'm in a position of neutrality around it all the time. I don't, you know, for me, food is more like a boring activity, like brushing one's teeth. There's, no, it's, it's not, there's nothing there. It's just a functional thing. 
which just happens during the day. So there's nothing exciting or mood altering uh, around it. So in that way, um, you know, because it was my prime addiction, I wanted 100% freedom. And, you know, by, by the grace of God, that, ha you know, that has been given. Um, so I just don't want it. Uh, I just don't want that uh, craving for food. I don't want to relate to it as something for comfort. And so, but you just, you know, you can ask various questions, but you know, just in general, you know, are you, is it large quantities? Is it a kind of a strange behavior around food? Is it certain foods? Is it certain times of day with certain foods? Is it various quantities of food or various refined natures? How are you getting that fix? Uh, intuitively, you intuitively know that if you stop doing it, you know, if you're an advanced uh, seeker uh, or you're in 12 step fellowship, of course, in miracles, you can cancel your belief and, and just be willing to go through the withdrawal. And then, uh, and then you're through it after, you know, like you give up sugar, I mean, give up sugar or give up the nicotine, the cigarettes, you know, there's a period of pain and then you'll go to a higher vibration. Things, you know, there'll be greater synchronicity, miracles, health will improve because you're not, you know, you're not at that lower vibration where you're just comforting on food here and there. So those are some of the things um, uh, that, you know, but actually the control mechanism is if you're, you, if you're, go, if you're reaching for food uh, to get some kind of fix or, you know, through large quantity types of food, strange behaviors, you know, orthorexia, strange control or ritual mechanisms, all of those can be fixes for the ego, which can lead to a low level of consciousness. Thank you.